My dilemma is holding a drink to a point where I don't squish it. Look, like, what business do I have doing this? Ah! Maybe like right there. And then I have to try to turn it off without dropping it. But after a few tries, I can do it. I want to talk about taking my bionic off in public, literally just doing this situation. When I first did that, someone was just like, oh my god, that makes me so uncomfortable. And I ended up feeling really bad and I stopped taking my bionic off in public for like a day or two. And then I realized that that person was extremely rude because at the end of the day, this isn't an actual hand, y'all. Like, this isn't real, you know? This is technology, you know? So... The way I see fit on using it is gonna be beneficial to me as a limbific person outside of the perspective of a two-handed person. And that needs to be respected. So if you wanna take your bionic off in public no matter where you are, I say do it. <laughs> to my limb difference as my paw you can see my paw prints here my curly hair just resembles a line to me so for me it's a paw um, I'm saying this because everyone has a different terminology for their limb difference for example their terminology nub makes me uncomfortable so it's always best to ask what's the appropriate way to go about naming it or calling it and it's okay to ask if you're not sure because you'd rather be safe than make that person feel uncomfortable you are beautiful despite your limb difference. That is a problem. For example, it's like saying, oh, so you're beautiful despite being Latina. You're beautiful despite being white. You're beautiful despite being Asian. You're beautiful despite having curly hair. You're beautiful despite having straight hair. Do you understand how that's not okay? It's the same thing when it comes to disabilities. You're beautiful despite your disability. Why can't it just be you're beautiful? Junior year of high school, I'm walking down the hallway and this new kid decides that he wants to humiliate me in public. He screams, monster, monster, monster. He doesn't get the reaction that he wants from me. I put him in his place. Yes, I am very confident in myself, but I still felt embarrassed. Imagine being someone who is adjusting to their limb difference and all they're getting is negativity. The narrative needs to change. Educating ourselves on the things that we don't understand helps us do so.